Now, the by pillar suspension. You draw the figure first. Okay. Now, figure two point ten shows a bi pillar suspension. The rod AB is initially horizontal. It is given an angular twist of theta about vertical axis. The new position is shown as CD. The two strings AP and BP, BQ support the rod AB. When theta is given and then released, it will oscillate in a horizontal plane. For theta, very small. G is the center of gravity of the rod AB. Thus, the weight of AB, that is W, will act vertically downward through G. G to find TC and TD. Tension of the strings at C and D respectively. We take moment about D and then C. So TC into CD. Okay. Now, again, to find phi C and phi D, we take AC is equal to CG into theta is equal to I into phi C. This is equal to AC is equal to CG is equal to CG into AC. What is AC? This is AC. This is AC. You will do L into phi C. L into phi C. Or phi C is equal to this. BD is equal to GD into theta is equal to L into phi D. Similarly, phi D will be equal to this. Okay. Now, we will tell you thus, again the sine component of TC is TC sine theta C and sine component of TD is TD sine phi d not theta this is phi, phi c and this is phi d now you see how it has come this is tc this is the vertical component and this is the horizontal component this angle is phi c so this component will be tc cos phi c and this this horizontal component will be tc sin phi c. You can uh, call it tc sin phi c is equal to tc phi c because phi c is very small.
So, so now this is this will be balanced. Otherwise, the problem will not be in equilibrium. So, T C into sin theta C phi C is equal to T D into sin phi D. So, T C into phi C will be equal to T D into phi D. So, this this phi D and T D is we can replace it in the previous equation. What is that? This equation. T C is this one and T D is this one and phi C is this one and phi D is this one. So, T C into phi C will be equal to T D into phi D. This is okay and that will be equal to this one. W into G C into G D into theta by C D into L. Okay. Now, we will we'll give you this equation. Now, theta is given in the clockwise direction. So, inertia force will act in the anticlockwise direction. This is in the anticlockwise direction. Ig into theta double that. Okay. So, Tc into phi C into Cd. This is the couple. Of course, this is the Tc into phi C in this direction and Td into phi D in this direction. So, this makes a couple and this couple is also in this direction. So, this should be added into Cd which will be equal to 0. This is the couple. You can call it the storing couple. So, this is this. Now, from here directly we come here. This is actually Tc into this is here. Ig into theta double dot plus W into Gd into Cg into theta by L. This has come from the Tc into Tc into phi C into C D. This is this. This is the result. You can find out actually that you see T C T C into phi C into C D. This is like this. Into C D. So this will be C D C D cancels out. So this will be this one. Okay. This will be this one. So this I am written it here. So this is actually from D number principle. You can get it. I G into theta double dot. Theta double dot is this square theta by D T square. Okay. Okay. Now this one, this is the equation. Of course, this is the equation of simple harmonic motion. This will be equal to the natural frequency Wn. So Wn omega n, sorry, omega n will be equal to root over of this one. Leave the theta. Theta will not be here. This is the omega n square. This is the omega n square. Okay, so this is coming here. Except in the coefficient of theta will be equal to omega n square. So omega n is equal to this, is equal to this because we call it Ig. Ig is equal to Ig is equal to m k square is equal to w by g into k square. So this will be 
IG is repressed by CG into GD into G by L into K square. Okay. Now T is equal to twice pi by omega n. So is equal to 1 by f. From here f will be equal to f will be equal to omega n by twice pi. So we have got the f is a frequency. Omega n is a circular frequency. So this is a linear frequency. So f will be equal to 1 by twice pi k into root order of cg into gd g pi l. If the bar is, so this is like this, k, k is the radius of gyration. Okay, k is equal to radius of gyration of the body about g. So 1 by twice pi f into root over of cg into gd by l into g. Okay. Now, if if CG, the bar is uniform and the um, um, so CG will be equal to GD, so K will be equal to CG by twice pi f into root order of G by L. Okay. Now, now this is the this is the book. This is the book I have used. This is actually my book. Thank you.